Well, hello there, random viewer. Welcome back. I'm Archie Stormcloud, and I'd like to thank you for tuning in to my basic skills guide on fishing, a complete guide to rods, baits, and fish species. At last, we're finally able to fish on Daisy again. I'll savor the flavor of this moment, gentlemen, because for most of us, this is the first time we've ever had the smell of fish on our fingers. Due perhaps to overfishing or lack of developer enthusiasm, there are only three types of fish species available for harvesting in Trenaris. Those fantastically floppy and mouth-wateringly moist creatures are the carp, the mackerel, and sardines. You also have a chance to reel in wellies and cooking pots. Let's begin this lesson by taking a look at the carp. Carp can be fished from freshwater sources such as ponds, swamps, lakes, streams or creeks, and marshes. Next, let's move on to saltwater species. Mackerel can be caught in salt water and brackish water sources, such as the sea and various deltas. Sardines can be farmed using fishing traps and seawaters as well, which we'll cover in another lesson. You have tons of choices when it comes to fishing instruments in Daisy, and by tons, I mean only two, and those are the collapsible fishing rod and the improvised fishing rod. The collapsible fishing rods can be found all over the map, but most commonly spawn in boat wreckages along the coast, as well as in boat houses and utility sheds. Fishing hooks can be found in the exact same spots. If you cannot locate technologically sufficient fishing equipment, don't fret. Improvised fishing rods and bone hooks can be crafted with ease. Let me show you how. To craft an improvised fishing rod, you will need a long stick, a rope, a fishing hook or bone hook, and an earthworm to use as bait. Now let me show you how to gather those resources. Start by cutting down a bush or a tree and gathering a long wooden stick. Bushes can now be cut down barehanded, but have a chance to cause bleeds to ungloved hands. Approach a bush and you'll receive the prompt to cut the bush down. Next, we need to locate rope. If you can't locate rope, just craft an improvised rope. Take a stack of six rags to your hand and combine them with another stack of six rags to craft one. You can create rags by shredding clothing items. Crafting bone hooks requires bones and a knife. Bones can be sourced after skinning and quartering wildlife. Take the bones to your hand and combine them with a knife to craft one bone hook. Attach the hook to your boonie hat to save inventory space. Now let's talk bait. You can fish with an empty hook but with a much lower success rate. For now, the only available baits to use in fishing are earthworms. To harvest them, equip a digging tool to your hand, such as any variety of shovel, a farming hole, or a knife variant, and look at the ground anywhere bare earth is exposed. You will receive the prompt to dig up worms. Once the action is performed, the worm will be available to you in your inventory. We're ready to craft an improvised fishing rod. Start by taking your long wooden stick and combining it with your rope or improvised rope. This will give you an improvised fishing rod. Next, we're going to take our hook or bone hook and combine it with our bait to give us a baited hook. Next, we'll take our fishing rod variant to our hand, combine it with our baited hooks, and we're ready to go fishing. To begin fishing, approach the edge of any body of water with your fishing rod in hand and you will receive the prompt to begin fishing. Once the action is prompted, continuously hold the action key to fish until your survivor tugs on his rod and withdraws the line from the water. If your fishing action was successful, your catch will appear on the ground in the vicinity of your feet. If unsuccessful, you will retrieve an empty hook, or even more unlucky, an empty line. If you found this video helpful, and I sincerely hope that you did, please consider giving my channel a sub. And I want to send out a very special thank you to all of my subscribers. You have no idea how much of a motivation you all are for me to continue to make these guides. If you have any questions, suggestions, or concerns, feel free to comment below or come and see me on Twitch. And until then, I'm Archie Stormcloud, and I'll see you in Chinar.